On Wednesday, the OSU golf team capped one of the best seasons in college history by dominating Alabama at Carson Creek to win a national championship. Matthew Wolf, the clinching putt. And we have the championship trophy here in studio, hand delivered by the head coach of the Cowboys, Alan Bratton. Coach, thanks for being here, yeah, making the drive thanks over. Thanks for having me on. You yeah. think you could run that replay again? <laughs> wow, 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 wow. I noticed that you hang with Matthew Wolf. Now, all your guys are great. You even got guys <laughs> on a bench that can really play. But uh, you go out there with uh, maybe the ace. Well, it worked out that way this week. Yeah. You know, each week we just try to figure out uh, what's going to help the group play the yeah. best. And this week that was uh, Donnie with Austin and me with Matt. Yeah. The whole experience, the whole thing. I mean, you have the women's championship followed by the men. That's two weeks of tremendous golf on a course that just looked like it was in tip-top shape. Has it ever been in better shape than it was? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why we built Carson Creek was to host championships like this and uh, put on a great show for all the world to see. And, and we did that, and our guys delivered. You also had Scott Verplank, Bob Tway, and a bunch of others. How cool was that, and what do you think that that did to your team? Well, we talked to them about how they were standing on the shoulders of a lot of guys that had come before them, coaches yeah. and players, and uh, it had to be unprecedented. We had someone there from every one of our championship teams, all ten. Somebody was there, so we can't thank those guys enough for being out there, and I, I really do think that helped put us over the top. Yeah. So you beat Alabama five, you won all five matches in dominating that one. I know we have some video here, but Zach Boshu really kind of set the tone. I mean, you wow. could say he wasn't the only, but Brown. here at nine, he holes out, and I know you heard the roars even though you weren't with him. Yeah, I still haven't seen all of the broadcast, so, but uh, you can keep running that one too. <laughs> uh, I didn't find out until the post-game kind of interview deal that he had won eight and seven, but Zach's a hell of a player, and uh, he put on a good show. Yeah, and, you know, we could go through all five of them, but you know, Dean already mentioned you were with Matthew Wolf, your, your stud freshman there with the unique backswing but always gets it where he needs to get it and you talk about the first hole in terms of setting a tone he really did in his match too he did victor birdied the first hole the first match out and then uh matt hit a three wood off the tee then a four iron in there close and uh sealed that hole with an eagle so i was surprised the guy let him hit the putt i thought he would give it to him to avoid the uh shot in the ears but i'm sure glad he let him putt here it is okay yeah, sinks that and then, of course, he gets the, uh, the the championship winner on 15. Coach, I saw Austin Eckrode as a little guy playing golf, and quickly you could see that this guy was going to be big time. As a freshman, he makes your lineup and actually wins the, the first couple of matches. Uh, he was tremendous, wasn't he? Yeah, what a thrill for an Oklahoma kid uh, to get to be on that stage in front of, in front of family and friends. Uh, really made for a special week. Yeah, yeah. and he had a critical uh, putt, two putt birdie on 18 in yeah. against Texas A&M when everything looked like it might be going the other way in the quarterfinals. Yeah, and really the shot there was his approach. Major um, from Edmund. Close Hope. match, big shot into 18, uh, crowd around, and, and he stepped up big. I gotta ask you just the atmosphere out there because golf is kind of solitude in a way. We see the pros, and that's a kind of a different thing. But you know, people that hadn't seen much golf. You look out, and there's hundreds, if not thousands, just tromping down the fairways and the roughs. What was that like for you and your boy, your guys? Well, that was really the most special thing about yeah. the week. They've had the championship on television the last few years, which is great. But if you're on TV playing, you don't know you're on TV. If you're playing in front of people, that, that changes everything. You get to perform. You, you, our guys don't usually fist pump. You saw some emotion out of them. and and uh, what a treat to get to play in front of family and friends for all of us, me yeah. included. My family doesn't usually get to be there, and my wife and kids got to be there, which was awesome. More than 3,000 tickets sold for that last yeah. day alone, and who knows how many, probably near 5,000 when you count all the volunteers and everything. All right, <clears throat> this is the 11th national championship in school history, and the first one in 12 years. So with the depth that you have on this team, uh, the question had been brought up, or at least one of your players. Let's hear from Zach Boshu here because he says this is the best team in Oklahoma State history. I remember uh, talking to Coach Holder after we lost the Big 12, and I said, Coach, we're still we're still the best team Oklahoma State's ever had. Uh, he said, No, nah, you're not. But uh, <laughs> I told him, Hey, after we win the national championship, we'll go out to have lunch and we'll talk about it. All right, you got about 30 seconds here to give your thoughts on this, too, because you played for Coach Holder. You know all the talent that's been through there. Is Zach just kind of being Zach in a way, or is there something to it? I think he really believes that. That's a question you really can't answer. Uh, but you guys are asking the question. So I would say in a case like this, if somebody's asking you the question, I'm honored that you asked. 
because you must have done something pretty good if somebody wants to bring that up. And what a week, and even more than that, you had the driven with Ricky Fowler, then you rolled the table, outstanding run. Congratulations, yeah. Coach, for your 11. Well, thanks, Congrats. guys. I'm glad we wrote the end of that script in orange. Absolutely. <laughs> Alan Bratton, the head coach at OSU.